Hello everyone, in this video I will show you uh, the new version of our custom period chart indicator. As you might already know, the CTrader platform uh, don't allow you to you have uh, custom time frames or custom uh, break size or range uh, chart size. If, uh, if, you, if you have used CTrader, you know it came with a fixed uh, list of uh, time frames. Here, as you can see, it has four categories, standard, tech, Rinko, range, and all of uh, the, the, these four categories came with a fixed uh, list of time frames. You can have, suppose, uh, here you can't have uh, something like maybe second charts, or in tech, uh, it came with this fixed uh, and a number of tech charts. You can't have, suppose, 95 uh, tech chart. Same for Rinko and range uh, chart types. Also, CTRADER lack uh, Heikenishi chart. Uh, it doesn't have Heikenishi. If you want to have Heikenishi, you have to use a custom indicator that plots it on your chart. So with our custom period chart indicator, you can have all those cool stuff uh, on your CTRADER. Uh, as you can see, I have uh, in front of me the pound yen um, uh, one minute chart. Uh, it's uh, the standard candlestick chart. Let's. Uh, I will change this uh, chart to a, to a transparent one so the candles don't show up. I have. I have just uh, changed the color of uh, bull outline, beer outline, bull fill, beer fill can uh, of the candles to transparent color so you can't see anything but they are there. Okay. So where is my transparent chart? Okay. Now my ch chart is transparent. Now I will add the cast. You, you don't have to change it to transparent. You can have both uh, uh, charts at the same time, but it looks better to have just w for the, the introduction, just have the custom period charts, okay? I search for custom period chart. It shows up here. Now first, let me set my uh, license so it doesn't switch to trial license. Okay, now, as you can see, the, indi uh, the indicator has uh, quite lo a lot of uh, parameters. Uh, the, the most important one is this uh, type parameter. It sets the chart type. You have four uh, item here, time, text, wrinkle, range, okay? So if you want to have a custom a time based chart you will you will select the time which is the default value if you want to have a custom tick chart you, you will select the tick the same for rinko and range but uh, there is a limitation you can't um, use the suppose tick chart uh, when you apply the indicator on a time standard time frame based chart for using the text uh, uh, option, you have to uh, apply it on a non-time based uh, chart like tick chart, range, or Rinko. Same for Rinko and range. You can use text, uh, Rinko, and range option on a standard time based chart like the, the one uh, of, uh, with, like my chart, which is a uh, one minute time based chart. Okay. Now I will, uh, what I do is uh, I will select the default value, which is time. And here for, uh, for every, um, uh, for each of these items, you have another category, okay? For time, we have time. For uh, Rinko and range, we have Rinko and range, which you can set the size to anything you want to. Same for text, we have uh, text. Uh, the difference between text and Rinko and range is that the size in Rinko and range is in pips, and uh, for text, it's in text, not pips, which is uh, for, uh, for example, uh, 10 texts in CTRDR equals to 1 pips, okay? So let's uh, select the time based, and uh, we set the uh, period uh, which is the custom time frame of us mm, uh, let's set it to something like maybe you know, four hour 30 minute okay it will only draw 50 bars you can uh, set it to larger number if you want to the higher the number it will use you uh, more resources so set it to something that uh, uh, satisfies your need okay as you can see here uh, it, all of these candles are uh, uh, four hour and thirty minute. Okay, the, uh, we have uh, some bearish candles. Keep moving. Mm. Now, 
this chart is a four, four hour 30 minute chart on the generated from a one minute chart uh, which is uh, the default time frame of our chart okay now what you i want to do is i want to change this chart to a high kinesi chart okay let's go to indicators custom period chart now it's normal uh, uh, which is uh, calculates based on open and uh, close. If it's open is um, above, it's close. It's a bullish bar. If uh, open is below, it's close. It's a bearish bar. Now I, when uh, here I have the high Kinishi category, let me enable this. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, now the chart is much more smooth as you can see. Hmm because it applied the Heiken Ishii calculation formula on top of our uh, for four hour 30 minute chart. It was a the example of a, a custom time frame chart. Uh, I will end this uh, category of uh, charts with uh, by applying uh, an indicator on our uh, four hour 30 minute chart. Suppose I want to uh, uh, attach a simple moving average, which is a built-in trader indicator on close prices of our four hour 30 minute chart. Okay, how to do that? Let's, let's see. First, we have to check the, our uh, custom period chart here. Okay. Be sure that you have uh, enabled the um, series that you want to use for uh, your indicator at here. Because if you don't uh, set it to yes, the indicator will not fill the series and uh, you will not have uh, anything to use for that indicator. Okay. By default, all four series, open, high, low, close are enabled as you can see. But uh, wh why we added this option to allow you enable and disable it? Because in some charts, it might cause a scaling issue. So you will not be able to see both the custom period chart and the uh, default, uh, normal default chart of CTR uh, uh, on, uh, uh, on the same chart. Now, uh, as you can see, all four uh, series are enabled. You can uh, also change the appearance of the series at here, lines. By default, all the series, uh, all our series have a transparent color because uh, there is no need to see them. We only want to use them for uh, other indicators. If you want to, you can change the color to anything you need, okay? Now I will close this. I will search for simple moving average, okay? Here is our simple moving average indicator. Open it, uh, uh, click on source parameter. Okay, here you have high, low, close, open. These are the default uh, chart uh, series. We don't want to use those four, uh, which are come uh, at the top of the list. What we need is the, uh, the, this series, custom period chart open, custom period chart high, cu custom period chart low, custom period chart close. So I want to uh, attach the indicator on custom period chart close series, okay? I selected that. Let me change the color to something bold, okay? Period is 14, let's apply it, okay? As you can see, this is the uh, simple moving average applied on four hour 30 minute chart, which is not available on CTRADER. But we can, as you can see, we can attach indicators on it. Now let's attach on something else, maybe a custom indicator. Okay, I will search on my custom indicators or something that uh, accepts a, a price source, average board range, I think. No, no, it doesn't support. Okay, something that accept uh, a price series. Mm -hmm. I think Vortex support, no, no, Vortex doesn't have it, okay. VST, no, VST doesn't have any price series, okay. Let's use the whole, okay. Whole moving average. I think it's already in, uh, available as a built-in CTRADER indicator now, but this is the custom version, okay. It's not the built-in version. We will use, uh, as you can see, the series are available here. Also, our simple moving average series. So I will apply it on a custom period chart close series. The uh, line is the uh, line color is different from our simple moving average color. 
okay as you can see the uh, whole moving average uh, showed up on our chart and it's cal uh, the calculation is based on our four hour 30 minute chart which is provided by our custom period chart indicator now what i want to do is i will switch to a non-time based chart less something like maybe Rinko range or something like that okay let's uh, uh, first i will remove my indicators okay let's switch to maybe 10 text chart okay nothing is sh uh, shows up because we change the color of uh, bars to transparent now let's apply the custom period chart okay custom period chart okay here in a state of time i will select Rinko. so what i want to do is i want to generate um, maybe two pips uh, Rinko charts uh, from uh, tech chart okay i select Rinko. here at the size it the default value is 10 i will set it to 2 i don't think i had i know i don't need to change anything else i think mm -hmm. let's click okay uh, oh sorry i uh, i didn't provide my uh, licensing email okay here are the candles they, these are a rinko uh, box you call it boxes candles i don't know uh, or Rinko bricks uh, uh, with wicks. Default C Trader Rinko uh, charts uh, don't come with uh, wicks, but uh, the custom period chart uh, uh, Rinko charts uh, have wicks, as you can see. Now uh, the we will increase the number of uh, bars. I think it's 50. Let's increase it to something like 500. Also, I will increase this to five, maybe okay the si the size or width of the bodies differ because each uh, rinko candle gets a different amount of time to complete so uh, the each candle doesn't has uh, equal weight like you have it on time based charts it, here every candle has different uh, weight as you can see also it is very helpful if you want to see how fast price moves if the candle width is very small it means price moved very fast and completed that the candle on very short uh, period of time if it's very the width is very wide like this one it means that the price was not that fast and uh, the completion of this candle got too much time it's very helpful if you know what i'm talking about if you if you're a rinko trader one of the best things that rinko and Rinko charts gives you is this to know how fast a bar completed if a bar is completed very fast it means price is moving fast volatility is very high and the move might continue in future bars if it is very slow it shows up that the price is consolidating there is not much directional move and you should stay away from the market like this candle uh, check this two uh, bullish candles at here they are very uh, they have very uh, uh, small width as you can see and, and uh, then we have this huge bearish candle which gets lots of time to complete so it's not a good candle not a strong uh, bearish move here but these ones are very good if you buy from here or here you can catch five pips on each of those candles look at here again we have very uh, a small uh, bullish candles here uh, which shows that there is uh, or there, there is a, a lot of bullish momentum on the price same like time based charts we can apply custom or uh, built in indicators of ctrader on uh, our rinko chart at here okay let's let me change the, the color of the chart from transparent to something that you can see so you will be able to see both tech and rinko chart at the same time beer bull white beer outline black bull outline white okay hmm. now i will apply uh, an exponential moving average on close of custom period chart which is five pips wrinkle chart okay 
you see the moving average appeared. Now let's uh, apply Heike Nishi on this Rinko chart, okay? It's not possible with the, uh, with the, the uh, CT radar. And even if you use custom Heike Nishi uh, indicators, I don't think they allow you to do that, okay? Heike Nishi, yes. Boom. Now you can see bars are much more smoother. We have a series of bullish bars and then a series of bearish bars. Okay, Say the same way I here I generated Rinko chart from tech chart, you can generate range charts from tech chart or uh, larger tech charts from the uh, 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 smaller tech chart. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, there is a limitation in this indicator. You can generate uh, non-time based charts from time based chart and you can generate a uh, lower non-time based chart from a higher period uh, time based chart. Suppose if my base time frame was 10 ticks, I can't use custom period uh, charts indicator to generate two tick chart out of 10 text chart because the indicator uses the chart data to generate the, uh, its own chart, okay? This video ends here. If you had any question, please leave a comment or contact us via our website. This indicator, like all our other products, has a 10-day free trial version. You can download it directly without providing any information on our site. There is no need to enter your email or anything. Just go to the link that I uh, added uh, on the video description and you will see a download button. Click on download button and you will be able to download the indicator file and use it for free for 10 days on your CTR platform. Bye everyone.